Welcome to Ask Alex Anything. On today's episode, what should you give up when you're running out of time? All right, well, let's get into it. Life has a lot of obstacles and there's a lot of things that we need to prioritize. And from years of experience, I see that the first thing to go is your health. Whether it's working out, whether it's meditation, whether it's you know respecting the food that you're putting into your body. You go for something quick or what you perceive to be quick and fast and you just kind of allow yourself to utilize excuses as I don't have time, right? But if you had time before, you have the same time now. It's about prioritizing yourself and you've decided that you're not a priority. But let me tell you, you are. Because when you feel good, then you can perform at your optimal state. You can actually give more to others when you are actually working on yourself. So the first thing to give up is not what lights you on fire, whether it's meditation, workout, reading, writing, make sure you're prioritizing you within your day, even if it's for 30 minutes. So if you are somebody who wants to prioritize the workout, then let's go. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're gonna start the timer and we're gonna start with pulling the knees up one at a time. So lift and then pull. So lift and pull. Lift and pull. Take your time. Find your balance. Lift and pull. One leg at a time, alternating. We're just getting warmed up, so take it nice and slow. We're not in a hurry. And five, three, four. There we go. We're going to switch it up. All the way up, all the way down. You need to take the jump out. Then you just do step in motion. And when you're ready, come back and join us. I'm breathing. Ten seconds left here. Three, two. We're gonna go into butt kick. So lift those legs up behind you. Find your rhythm. In that stomach as you kick one leg at a time. We got 10 seconds left here. Breathe through it. Five, three, two, one. All right. Exercise. We're gonna go into walkout plank. So you can just your hands. You're gonna walk out in front of you. You're gonna come back into a standing position. All right. So straight leg, hip hinge, walk out. Last one. Two, one. 
right here. But you're gonna push all your weight onto that front as low as you can get that chest to that leg. All right? And then, when you're ready, you join us with the full range of motion. Don't leave your chest up. You gotta lay all the way down. 
Are you gonna hit the floor? Up, drive. Up and drive. Good. Keep those elbows tucked in. Your arms should be on fire as much as your legs right now. One more. Whew. All right. Take that break. We're gonna go into a seated position. We're gonna hit bicycle crunches in a seated position. All right. So you can have them A in the modified position. Have your heels down and take one foot at a time, or you can lift and drive. All right. Or maybe combine the two if you're not at the athletic level to maintain this position yet. Go for as many as you can, and when you feel like you can't anymore, you do two more, and then you drop down. All right, you gotta add those two to make sure that you're pushing just a little bit further than what you're mentally telling yourself you can, all right? That's the only way that you're gonna make progress, not letting yourself off the hook. All right, take your break. Alright, we're gonna go back into those double cross, double squats. You ready? I'm ready. Round two. Let's go. In three, two, one. Cross and squat. Cross and squat. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath. Exhale. Good. Hold those knees open. It's all about the knees. Your feet are more than likely in the proper position. Hold those knees open. All right, double squat. Don't forget, we're hitting doubles. Pulse it out, 10 seconds. Good, there it is. Take your break. We're gonna go into sleeping skiers up next. All right, so balance and coordination. We challenge you. So set up, cross the leg on the floor, leap and land. All right, so that back foot is swooping across. The arm is going as low to the ground as possible. Trying to reach the outside of the foot, so you modify. Drop that back knee in more of a hopping position. All right, can't get this low, stay at those knees. All right, find your level. And when you got it, if you got this, you gotta move up. All right, you gotta push. Get that leg off the ground, challenge yourself. Take your break. All right, We're going into our sprinter lunges. Woo! You ready? I don't know. This one burns, but it's worth it. Drop that knee and step. This is where we get to take back control of our breathing, of our heart rate. Deep breaths in through your nose. Long exhales. You are in full control. Do not let your body freak out. All right? Stay in control. Utilizing your breathing to bring your heart rate down. We have about one more left here. Good, all right. Go over to the other leg, grab water if you need it. You got 15 seconds. You're not gonna grab water. We're about halfway through. Alright, we're gonna move on to that other leg. So make sure you remember which leg you did first. Drop down, step, touch the floor, or at least try to. Gathering, gathering your air back. Heart rate is a lot lower now. It 
enjoy it. Because the exercise after this, we're gonna bring it right back up. All right? We got about 10 seconds here. Five seconds. There you go. Take your break. Now we're gonna go into plyo spiritual lunges. This is when we do the hopping in between the lunges, staying low. All right, so hit the leg, doesn't matter. Set up, and let's go. Keep those knees in. Back foot on its tippy toe, front foot completely planted. Just like a sprinter, getting ready to take off. Contracting the core with 
every rep. You ready? The elbow to elbow. Hang top. Opposite elbow behind. You need a break. Put those hands, keep the feet off the floor. Take a second. And then come right back into it. Alright? Good. Take your break. Alright, listen up. This is our final round. Alright? This means it's not our last round. It means it's our best round. Alright? So, you're warmed up, feeling good, ready to go. Let's do this. See the finish line. You got 30 seconds. Dropping it low. Good. There's nothing that can stop you now. Not even yourself. You're all in. Take a break. We're gonna go into leaping gears. All right. So one foot goes up in the air. We're gonna take a side for those All right. So set up. Come on. That's 
Go to tippy toe, front foot, toe up, weight into those heels. 10 seconds. Let it burn. It means it's working. If you stop, it's not gonna work now. Come on. Three, two, woo! Yes. All right. Going to king flux. Hands on your head. Legs hip width apart. You ready? In two, one, hip hinge, drop, lift, and stand. Good. 30 seconds. There it is. Keep those elbows pulled back. Nice, strong foundation. Tabletop back. Pulling those knees open to allow you to drop in and hang out. Last one. Woo! All right, we're gonna drop down. All right, so we gotta finish up. I know our time was off, it was my fault because I was doing you know, you bonus rounds. We're gonna start 45 seconds over on the clock because we got four exercises left. And listen, just because the timer went out doesn't mean that we're finished because we know what we signed up for. So, hands down, let's go. Mind that. Good. There you go. You need to take the jump out to keep moving. Whoop. Hips are in the air. Caught myself. Slow it down. Find my rhythm. Come back into it. Woo! What's wrong with it? Set coordination.